Freaky fun for everyone, sold set. Leonardo, the Katana Blade. My cat. Attack the evil and humanoid, forcing him back into the earth. Hey, the name's Boglet, you sold separately. We had a lot of humanoids come to each sold separately. You put them out together. Turn them into the light, and they change into even more powerful. A battle against Lion-O and the new Thundercat ally. Right? Is it? Already? Yeah. Seems a little early. Well, no, it's on time. We're doing Halloween all October, right? I don't know if we're going to do it all October, but we're at least doing it this week. Oh, I, maybe I should take this mask off so you guys can recognize me. Oh, I should probably put this away so you can recognize me. So, uh, it is October, and October is Halloween. And we thought, what a great way to kick off October, but with some horror themed toys for small children. Oh, I love those. <laughs> because, I mean, what, what better thing to give small children than horror-themed toys? So, so that's what we're talking about, Five Nights at Freddy's. No, oh. never. Um, I don't know, maybe we'll do a video game losers on the game or something. Uh, if your sister wants to play the VR or something, maybe we can do that. But uh, today we've got three things that we are going to open and talk about here. Uh, the first two are very similar. So first we have Zombies at War. And these are basically little green army men, uh, but instead of being army men, they are zombies. So we'll take a look at that. Oh, wait, hold on first. Let me introduce everything first and then we can start opening them. Uh, the second thing we have here is Zombies versus Zombie Hunters. So similar to the uh, green army men idea, this is actually zombies and people attacking the zombies. So the zombies in green and the people in blue uh, to fight them. What team are you on? I'm on team zombies. No, I'm on team zombies. Zombies always win. They're, they're gonna they're gonna take over the world. Woo! Um, and then the final thing, this is something I saw in the store the other day and I have no idea actually what this is. Um, but I saw this, this is from NECA. Toy Capsule Collection uh, for Halloween 2. So this is like gumball machine capsules with some sort of Halloween 2 themed collectibles inside. Um, and I have, I have not Googled this. I have fought every instinct I have to look up online to see what this is so that we can open this um, and, and, and be surprised by what's in here. So. I have no idea what this is, but um, I'm sure, I'm sure these are top of the line, fantastic, high quality, the best possible Halloween 2 collectibles inside of these uh, eggs here. So Hi, cat. <laughs> and we've got, we've got a new kitten in the house, and so uh, you might see something jumping around every so often. Uh, and we also have a dog who's very curious about the cat. Uh, so if you see some other stuff going on or hear some noises, that's probably what's going on with those. So let's get started. Where do you want to start? The zombies, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because I'm gonna have to get pictures of this stuff later, mm. you know, so we can do inserts and have like- So we're not opening closer. them? We're gonna open them, but we're gonna open <laughs> them carefully so that we can get the close-ups and inserts and stuff later, so. Uh, what we're gonna do here is actually protect yeah, the cardboard. That's what I was gonna do. All right. Oh, now, hold on, hold on. Uh, this was a previews exclusive from Brilliant Novelty Company. Uh, previews being the comic book uh, Diamond Comics distributor. Um, previews is their catalog, um, and this, it doesn't have a 
year listed on it. Um, individual poly bag, Zombies at War. I was, I was just looking to see if maybe there was a date on here, but I don't see one. And I don't remember how much these were, but they weren't that expensive. Two bucks. Well, they were more than that. I, I think they were like 15 bucks or something like that. Oh. All right, so what, what did you start to ooh at? Uh, well, for one, they're not just normal army men, just with some slight tweaks to them. They're actually full-on zombies, like this guy's holding his hand. Ooh, look at that. We're doing a close-up now instead. Uh, like, th this guy, uh, you can see, like, his rib is open. His so, chest is open. Okay, so, so we have some designs here that are very unique, very gruesome. So we have some that are some some that are gray, and some that are green. I guess so that you've got two sides that can fight each other. Yeah. Um, so what you're gonna be green team and I'm gray team? Sure. All right. So I'm the grays, just like the uh, aliens who are gonna take over the world. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought the zombies were gonna do that. Well, the aliens will take over after the zombies. What about zombie aliens? Ooh, boy. That would be a thing. But yes, yeah, some of these is, although, I don't know, some of these, like, okay, this guy, yeah. is his head squished or is that part of the design? Well, I think it's part of the design. You think it's part of the design? Because if you look at it, his head is like pressed in, which is a society thing. Uh, you see, it's a commentary. That's a joke, by the way. That's Although, I guess, the, here's another one, and he's got the same thing, so yeah. I guess that's part of the design. That's weird. I wonder if someone fat-thumbed it while they were, uh, like, putting it in the mold or something, accidentally pressed his head in. Um, all right, so I'm, I'm just going to try to sort these real quick and see how many different designs we have here. So I got a total of 15 characters, three split up into five groups, so... Okay, so I have, well, I've got 16, 18, 20. So I've got 20 gray guys. Well, that's that's an unfair advantage. Although, to be fair, I do have a hula dancer. So, I, I don't, well, yeah, that <laughs> looks like what he's doing. I don't know what else he would be doing. Um, so I've got four, 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 and then two and two, mm. um, which is weird. Okay. Um, but they... I don't know. It's the designs on these. I guess mine look like um, World War II German guys, actually. Yeah, mine look more a bit more like American soldiers. So, so I guess these are supposed to be like the army guys, like the the normal um, army guys that you would get. Who are so your your good guys, of course, are going to be the U.S. troops in the green, and your bad guys are going to be the. Um, Axis troops in the gray, although, I mean, they're, it's zombies versus zombies, so is, are they really good guys? I don't I mean, know that they're necessarily... It's not always black and white. Sometimes it's green and gray. Uh, this guy... Okay, so you've got you've got a pilot, a machine gunner. Well, this guy's just, like, giving up. No, no, he, he's, he's intimidating. He's spooky. Okay, so, like... Three of my guys, it looks like, are... Oh, no, wait, wait. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Those are the same dudes. So it's not four, 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 two, and two. Okay, so... But I do have more more guys, though. Right? Yeah, yeah it looks like it. One, two, three, four, five. Five times three is 15. Whereas I've got four, 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 four. One, two, three, four, five. So I've got 20. So it is still 15 versus 20. Okay. But the 15 win because they're the good guys, right? Right. So you always want to have your uh, good guys outnumbered by your bad guys um, so that they can be the underdogs and they can fight up and win. So now we have the zombies versus zombie hunters. This was another previews exclusive. Uh, 35, this actually says 35 ultra detailed plastic figures uh, from MC Toys, E-M-C-E -E Toys. Uh, and again, looking for a year, I don't see one. Although this says 
Fourth Castle Micromedia Farmingdale, New York. Wait a minute. Is, this, is that the same as this? Uh, Fourth Castle Micromedia, Farmingdale, New York. All right. Oh, designed for Diamond Comic Distributors by MC Toys. Thanks, cat. The cat just sneezed. <laughs> so these are made. These are made by the same company uh, for another uh, Diamond exclusive. So, so, but so they have a different name though. This says Brilliant Novelty Company. This says MC Toys, but it's the same company. So they probably just changed their name between the creations. Or they wanted, or they made both of them at the same time, but they wanted it to look like they were different, so it didn't look like they were flooding the market. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. But yeah, anyway. hey, let's flood the market with zombie toys. I don't know what the deal is with that. You didn't rip it. Take two. Have you been opening toys like all your life? No. I just started yesterday. Oh, okay. All right. So, zombie hunters and zombies. So let's separate. Uh, uh -huh, wow. Uh -huh. All right, I'll take the zombies here. Uh, let's... You had the zombies last time. It's my turn. You had zombies last time. All right, so again, let's see. I'm gonna take a look at these. Um, the, the stands that they're on look identical to the last ones. Uh, they have the same overall design although these have a much harder time standing up are you having that same problem yeah these these don't want to stand up as easily yeah they smell up with cheap plastic these don't have a smell at all these are oh, very this one does say 35 plastic figures also oh, well, so yeah, that makes sense. I just can't read apparently yeah um although again th these designs look pretty good well wait until you get to the human like they're they're not okay okay all right Ooh. the zombies look interesting um we've got male and female zombies uh which is good um you always want to have a mix we've got some with weapons we've got some uh who are eating body parts um, so some that have already attacked, and they're in they're in groups of four. So just like the others, we've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, so we've got twenty zombies. And okay, so it's a very similar pose. Uh huh. Well, and I guess you would kind of have to with some of them. But <laughs> so look at the zombie sculpts. They do look pretty good as well. There's a lot of little pieces missing, like body part pieces. Although they're not as good I don't think as no. the war because like the war ones like a guy'd be missing a leg and so there'd yeah. be a foot on the stand and then part of the leg missing yeah, yeah and then the rest of them and these are all whole I don't think these look quite as finished um well I would say they don't look quite as gruesome okay. as as those they don't look quite as dead these I don't know um, and the other thing is, these being the bright neon green are a little harder to look at yeah. compared to those. Uh, it's harder to make out the details on them. I wish these weren't as fluorescent. Um, oh, big words. I'm scared of those. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean uh, to. It is October. I could be scared of them. Um, I mean, there are some nice details. Uh, like, there's a girl here. It looks like she has a little broken foot, uh, which makes it interesting. But, yeah, overall, these zombies are just not as gruesome as the war zombies. These are just more, I guess these are just more like decayed, whereas uh, the war ones are more like battle destroyed. All right, so now, what do you think of the people? Oh, the people. Well, first off, you know how we were talking about how great those are for not having any bent pieces? You know, those, so let's put those to the They side. just look melted. Yeah. But then, like, like, look at the sculpts. They're not very detailed. Like, the, the one that's the most detailed is probably this guy. And that's just because he's got, like, some belt stuff going on. Like, oh, because he looks pockets. like a SWAT team. Yeah, he has, like, pockets. Guy. Um, like, this guy has, like, a scroll on his back. And that's about the most in-depth it goes. Like, this lady's holding a sword, but it looks like she's kind of hugging it like a teddy bear. I thought that was just, like, a tiny little, like, kitchen knife. Uh, I think it's supposed to be, like, a sword. 
Now, I, I think the idea of what they were originally trying to go for with this is um, The Walking Dead. And they were trying to get the idea of a random band of survivors. So these are just ordinary people who get caught up in the middle of like a zombie apocalypse, right? And yet again, three, 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 four, 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 four. four. Right. So I mean, the same mix. Um, but also the people aren't in battle mode. It's it's like the guy holding the shotgun is just holding it. He's not aiming. The guy with the bow and arrow, he's got it pulled back, but it's just it's it's just on his side. He's not like like aiming at a person. The SWAT team guy with the rifle, again, he's he's just holding it. The guy with the axe is just holding it. They are not ready to fight. You, you take um, like some of the army guys. Don't actual army men figures even have the army men like shooting the weapons? So I would say of the of the two, I much prefer the zombies at oh, war. Yeah, the colors are much better. I think the sculpts are better. Um, overall, they're just m much more exciting looking figures. These feel more like kids' toys, whereas the zombies feel more like toys anyone of any age can enjoy. Especially with the neon colors compared to the more dull and. Like, like, if you were having a Halloween party or something, these zombies at war would be fun to, like, have around the house. You know, just kind of, like, leave around sitting somewhere. Or if you b baked a cake, um, you know, and put some on the cake, like, there is, you know, the middle of something going on, that would be kind of neat. What? What are you talking about? What do you mean? You don't put those on cake? You, you bake a sheet cake, so it's just like a, a flat rectangle. Okay. And then you put icing on it so it's like green, maybe put a blue river running through it, and then you put some of these zombie guys on top of it, like decorations on top of the cake. I have no... Okay, all right, sure. Okay. <laughs> all right, so... Uh, huh. Yeah, people people do that. Yeah, I bet they do. Just like they make rock transformers. All right. So, thumbs down for the zombies versus hunters, that which is... is Four out of ten. Terrible, Ugh. because I actually have two bags of those, so there's another bag of those. But only one of the zombies at war. It should have been the other way around! Yeah, well, you live, you learn. It's too late now. Alright, uh, so the Halloween 2 collection. Uh, again, I have no idea what's in these things. I saw, when I was at the store, I saw for Halloween 2 and Child's Play. Uh, I went for Halloween 2. I love Halloween 2, the movie. Um... Child's Play is cool, but much rather have Michael Myers Halloween 2 stuff. Although the package is is a little awkward. Um, for one thing, you know, it says nine Halloween themed collectibles, but it doesn't say what any of them are. Um, on the back, it says he's back, and it's got this Michael Myers uh, imprinted uh, face. But if you look at the face, it looks like a low res JPEG. Um, oh, it looks. I think that's supposed to be the style. I mean, it's just like very pixelated around the edges. Like you can tell it's not smooth at all. Yeah, I think that's like supposed to be the style. Because you look at it, it's not like crusty pixelation. It's like almost almost like you had like tape up and you painted over it and then tore down the tape. Mm, I don't know. Looks weird. But anyway, I can look at that mask. You know, the scary thing is I can look at that mask and I can go, oh yeah, that's from Halloween too. Because oh, well, the, the hair is 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 different from the first one. Uh, the eyes and the shape of the chin is different from you know four. Oh, yeah. Way different uh -huh. from five. Different right. from six. Mm -hmm. uh, that anyway. just looks like a guy with a mask to me. <laughs> so anyway, um, but this is from 2020. This is brand new. Uh, Didn't Halloween two come out like 1987? Uh, no, it came out like 1980. Oh, I mean, I, I was overshooting it. <laughs> when I said 1987, but... Uh, so, let's get this open. I want to try to open it without destroying this picture on the back so I can get a shot of it in the photo tent later so we can throw it up on the screen. Alright. Let's try not to lose these. Alright, let's crack it open like an Right, wait, here. Okay, this one, stop, 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 not too much. This feels like, it sounds like something rubbery, maybe, no. like a rubber ball. Yeah, this one's very similar. Oh, this one's 
This one's kind of heavy. Oh, yeah, it's got some weight to it. Now, this one's light. Maybe... Oh, this is very light. Like, nothing there. Oh, like yeah, stickers. definitely comparing these two. Well, I want to open the light one first. Here, okay, here, let's... Sort them by sort them by weight? <laughs> Maybe. This one's very light also. Okay. That one's light. This is a little heavier. I think that one's that one's lighter. This is the heaviest, I think. We got like a two bouncy bolts. Although that one sounded almost plasticky. Right. Okay. Okay. I think that's my weight. All I think right. that's my weight. Now we need to alphabetize it by spell. Smell. All right. Hmm. All right. You want to crack it open? Okay. I'll do the first one. Since you're the one who knows. The oh. Okay. So here. Wait. First of all, I can look at the egg. Uh, we can see, you know, it is orange on one, black on the other. You got a small air hole, um, and it does have Halloween two uh, textured on there. Oh, so, sure does. Wow. Uh, oh, and then on the black, it does say U S C L L C. So there you go. Uh, is that for Universal Cinema? Maybe. Yeah. All right. So here we have a magnet. Ah, oh. oh, it's a Halloween 2 magnet. Everything I've always wanted. Universal City Studios LLC. That there looks like the size of like a Switch card. This is, uh, yeah, like a SD card. Yeah, that's that's kind of tiny. But you know what? It's it's in a little egg. I mean, it's in a little capsule. Like, si size doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. So. And, oh. Oh, it's a patch. Embroidery patch for... Flip it over. Hatterfield Homa Memorial. Hatterfield Memorial Hospital. So I'm assuming that's a place. That yeah, that's the place in the in the second movie. So um, that's like what they had on their yeah. ambulance drivers and yeah. whatever had the little patch. Although I might put it on like a hat since I don't wear like uh, uniform shirts a lot. Wait, wait, wait! Now it's my turn. You just opened a patch. In this one, we have a keychain. Ooh, with a little Michael Myers with the knife out. Oh, I thought he—I thought he used like a big sword, like. Um. Although this, I don't think that's from Halloween Two, though. I, I don't think that shot's from Halloween Two. I could be wrong, but I'll have to watch the whole movie over again just to double check. Oh uh, boy. But I don't. But but still, though, it's it's kind of thick, and it's uh. Yeah, like that plastic rubbery, yeah. yeah, like you'd expect. Okay, you do the next one. See, I, I was kind of expecting it for like a bouncy ball, like what you get from like the things. And like well, that may be one of these further down. Oh! It's a head! Honestly, I thought for a moment it was a little ice cream. Like huh. a little fake ice cream. No, it's a little Michael Myers head. It's the mask. It's, it's actually his mask. I think it's like so. a pencil topper. Or a finger puppet? Maybe. Can we open it? Uh, sure, go ahead. Eh, finger puppet work. This seems very, like, creepy. Yeah. Since it's skin tone right at the bottom, so it looks how, like it blends in. Yeah. So the mask, uh, just so you know, I, I probably told you this before, but uh, the mask was originally a William Shatner mask, the Captain Kirk from Star Trek. Oh, yeah. And what they did is they cut the eye holes a little bigger, they got rid of the sideburns, and then they painted it white, and huh. then now you have a monster. Oh, don't stick your pinky in that. I feel like it's gonna get trapped in there. It opens right up. Maybe it's, not for you. It, the, the, the texture's a lot tougher. Like, it's, it's, I thought it'd be more rubbery, but it's actually kind of hard. Weird, too. Like, it's tough. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's good because it's yeah. not not gonna get like damaged and misshapen. Um, that's actually that's actually a pretty cool little collectible. That's neat. Wow. That, that, how much was this? Um, it's like ten bucks, I think, wow. for the thing. Oh, that's cheaper than a bag of war zombies at war. Actually, one small note here. You see that hole in the side there on the neck? Yeah. That's because in the first movie, uh, she has knitting needles. Oh, sure. So and he comes to attack, and she stabs him in the neck with a knitting needle. Oh, I thought that was just like bad design. Yeah, so that's actually oh, good, uh, accurate. Yeah. Wow. That's who would 
and and they probably sell would sell that at a convention for twenty bucks. Like like so. that is something I would I would legit if I saw that little mask by itself in the store for like five bucks or something I would legit go I might buy that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So here here we're starting to get heavier. So who knows what what some of these are going to be. It's chewing gum that's already been chewed. Oh, I want it. Oh, it's a lanyard. Like what I have my keys on? Yeah. It's, I don't, it's, it's like I, a long strap of cloth. Yeah, yeah I've, I, I've, been, to, I've been to a Comic-Con before. I know what they are. All right, so it says he's back, and then you've got the jack-o'-lanterns on it. All right, let's crack this one open. Oh, it's another lanyard. Is it really? <laughs> yep. Is it? But it's different. Oh, this one's in a different package. No, it's the same type of package. There's some dog barking in the background. Oh, never mind, they're shoelaces! Oh, shoelaces! Oh, yeah, of course, what wow. everybody needs, yeah. I'll mm. never use those. Actually, maybe I can put those as laces in the back of one of my masks. Oh, yeah, they do. They are shoelaces, huh? It might be easier to put it back in the plastic, actually. Already got it. All right, here we go. Oh. We've got a pin. Uh-uh. And it's the Michael Myers mask. So, uh, and that's that's the image that's on the back of the yeah. package. Uh, if you look, it's, it's, it's got the same amount of crust on it. So I think that is the design. <laughs> the crust. You like you like using the term crust. Yeah, it's, it's a funny word. Is it? Crust. Crust? Crust. All right, there you go. Open that one. That's what we thought was the bouncy ball, and instead it's a skull. It looks like it's another finger topper. That one was much heavier than the other oh, finger topper. No, this is not a finger topper. Barely goes in. Okay. So it's a mask. Oh, I just realized I was trying to put it on that finger. Uh oh. Why? Is it. Oh, I see. It's got a peg. Uh, like a peg hole. Yeah, for like. On the bottom, like for a figure. Almost feel like it's Oh wait, 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 it's got the silver shamrock. This is from Halloween 3. This is the Halloween 3. This is one of the Halloween 3 masks. Uh Silver Shamrock. This is they they play the happy, happy Halloween song based on the song London Bridge. Uh, and then all the kids die. All the kids who have the witch, uh, jack-o'-lantern, or skull mask. Um So I mean it's got it's got good detail to it. It's a good looking mask. They put the silver shamrock, but it's the wrong movie. Yeah, is this supposed to be Halloween 2? Yeah. This was not in Halloween, unless there was an Easter egg in Halloween 2 setting up for Halloween 3, but uh, I don't I, believe so. I guess you gotta rewatch the whole movie <laughs> again. I don't believe so. So this is, that's weird. So I'm, that's, that, that is weird. Also makes me wonder, since there were three masks, in Halloween 3, does that mean there are three different variations of this uh, set? Oh. Like, do you have to randomly buy three of these and hope that you can get the jack-o'-lantern and the witch mask as well? All right, let's just but, go. But why, why the mask from Halloween 3 in the Halloween 2 themed, uh, or is this a mistake? Did I get, did I get a, a mix-up of something? I don't know. Maybe it's just Halloween too strong. It's weird. I don't know. Okay, I'm proud of that one. Why? It's a clever pun. You came up with it on the spot. You know? Is it, was it really though? Yeah. Was it really clever? Yeah. All right, we're gonna open the last one here. This is the last one. Oh, I hope this is good. This is. It's a, it's a punch. There's Michael oh. Myers with, with the bleeding eyes from when he got shot. I think this is another magnet. Yeah. I think this is a chunky magnet. Yep. Is it or is it an eraser? Well, let's find out. Wait, wait, uh, where's the metal? I'm trying to use your chair. It's uh, not. Uh, well, does it bend? That's probably not a magnet. Well, some magnets bend. Yeah, um, it looks a bit more like an eraser, but why yeah. does it make an eraser or something like that cool? Yeah, it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's an eraser. It's an eraser. Oh, yeah, I can no, feel I the grit in my fingers. Yeah, it's an eraser. No, no! <laughs> um, chop, chop! So that is... 
Uh, the image is interesting. Like, that's cool. Because at the end of the movie, she tries to shoot him, and apparently she shoots him in the eyes. So he bleeds. So he's bleeding out of the eyes, which is kind of weird. Um, like, why wouldn't that kill him? Like, getting oh. shot, oh. like, in the head. but Because it doesn't touch the brain. But apparently they she shot like this, right through the eyes, apparently. I don't know. Um, but on an eraser... Like, I would have swapped this picture with the one on the magnet, honestly. Because the magnet is just some picture. Whereas this is, like, apparently some iconic scene. I would not make an eraser. Oh, yeah, that's fair. I <laughs> would have it be another keychain or a magnet. Heck, I'll even take a lanyard. Um, <laughs> I'll have a shoelace. You know what? I would much prefer that this was just a chunk of plastic with a little hole that you would attach to the lanyard. Yeah. This this would be 100% cooler if it was just meant to hang on the lanyard. Um, you'd put it on there with your work ID uh, or your keys, and you got a little dangly doohickey from your lanyard. Instead, you've got a dumb eraser. So, I think the real question is, what was your favorite thing out of here? Uh, that's the, the, the Michael Myers mask finger puppet. Oh, uh, yeah, I was going to say the exact same thing. Uh, I mean, that's... Actually, I really like the shoelaces. I think they were really, really cool and awesome. Um, like, I don't wear shoes with shoelaces, so uh, that's not going to do me any good. I don't know. Some Like, okay, I want to say this was 10 bucks. Maybe it was 12 bucks. It wasn't that expensive. Something like the, like the little magnet. Is fine. Yeah, I mean, it makes you can sense. Throw it on the fridge or you know your desk or you know your locker if you're in school or something like that. That's no big deal. Um, this head though, this head mask finger puppet thing. This is this is the coolest thing. Yeah. Um, I, I'm glad I got this. I would much rather buy this separately for like five or six bucks than than buy this whole lot of garbage. Um, but but this this is definitely a cool thing to have. Um, and this is something I, I will find a spot somewhere around my desk to to put that on display. First person to point out next episode gets a <laughs> shout out. Um, but I, oh, the rest of it, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll have to see what happens with the rest. Some of it may be given away to other people. We, 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 speaking of uh, giveaways. Speaking of giveaways, uh, we do have a drawing for some rock lords. But of course, uh, we film this in advance. Um, the the draw the, uh, the the contest hasn't closed yet. It so actually people, has twelve more hours at the time of filming uh, this. Yeah, just about. So, <laughs> um, so and so we're. I mean, we're going to stop filming now, but we will be back with one more segment, uh, or at least I will be. You may not be uh, in it, uh, depending on what time I film well, it. Are we also doing mailbag? Uh, there's really nothing for the mailbag. Oh, all right. Then. So. Um, so, so we'll be back uh, to do the drawing for the uh, Rock Lords figures here in just a moment, but it will be half a day later, uh, and in fact, I, it might even be filmed in the middle of the night. We will just have to see how that goes. Okay, so it is Saturday morning. The show is going to be going up here in just a couple hours, but it's time to do the giveaway. I'm going to be blurring out uh, part of the pages just so that uh, you know everybody's personal info isn't going out. <laughs> to all the viewers out there, but uh, we did have a lot of people enter the giveaway, and I thank you for that. Uh, I will do my best here not to share all your personal information, um, but I do want to say I'm, I was kind of surprised by uh, the just the, the span of entries that we got. I, I know we've got viewers from, uh, you know, all over the world, which is why I, I had this giveaway open to the whole world. Um, but we did have uh, we did have Poland, we have the Philippines, um, Hungary, uh, Belarus, Russia. Um, there's another Philippines, Great Britain, another Russia. Um, so yeah, it's it's a good thing it was left open uh, worldwide um, because there were plenty of you guys around the world that entered the contest. So that was great. So it's time to pick a winner, and I'm recording this uh, just so you guys can see what's going on. I've never done this before. Give Lab, I've never used before. This is the first time we've ever done a giveaway um, or, or set something up through this 
program, so I figure if I record it and everything goes terribly wrong, I can at least show that I tried. Um, but here it is. So I, I have no idea how this works. I'm going to pick winner. Um, select auto pick will automatically draw a winner. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Auto pick. And. Uh, oh, here we go. Dominic S. So Dominic has won our Rock Lords. Uh, and I'm, is he the one in Poland? Um, I believe he is. I believe he's. So I'm going to have to send these to Poland. Yeah, oh yeah, well, there it is. Right there, Poland. Oh boy. I'm sure that's going to be nice and cheap to mail those to Poland. Well,. At least they're small toys. It'll be a tiny box. It's not that not that heavy, but still, congratulations to Dominic S. You have won our Rock Lords. So now I can uh, I can edit this into the video. I can get it uploaded, and I can go back to sleep. So I want to thank everybody for entering. And hey, uh, we can. It, it worked. I, I was actually kind of surprised. I thought there would be a hassle or a problem, but there was not. So uh, we will uh, we'll probably do another giveaway here at some point in the future. Uh, so I want to thank everybody for entering again, and I will talk to you later. Oh!